welcome to my channel today i will be making some fine fish curry all right in this bowl i have some mixed wasabi. i have one tablespoon of garlic paste i have half tablespoon of pepper flakes i have three tablespoon of um curry in the madras curry powder and some salt all right I have some carrots, garlic that I chip up. This is three cloves of garlic, some scallion. I have potato, onion, tomato. All right. I have some seasoned salt and some complete seasoning. So uh, here are the fish that's already fried. All right, the fried fish, fried naga. So I'm going to add some water into this, not a lot, just a little, and mix it and then start the frying. Take it like a paste. I have to put a little bit more water in here. So I have the oil on the fire. I'm going to start by adding the curry paste into this hot oil. Make sure the oil is hot enough before you start the frying, alright? So I'm going to add the potato and let it fry up along with the tomato. Potato and let it fry for another two to three minutes. All right. So now you turn the stove down a little low, like medium heat, and let this cook slow. All right. And let it fry for another five or five to ten minutes. I will be frying this curry up because I don't like it to smell red raw. I want it to be well, well done. That's why I said on low fire and let it fry. When you start seeing the oil floating in the top, well, you know that well, you could add some hot water into this. Alright? Stay tuned. So you see, this is what I'm talking about. See the oil starting to float in the top? Not complete. Alright? You can give it a stir because you don't want it to stick all right i'm going to add the carrot now remember this is optional you don't have to add any carrots in your curry i just like the color all right so i'm gonna let this fry for another two minutes so as you see the oil you can see the more of the oil now all right so now i can add the water so i just add some to the water and I'm gonna let this boil until the potatoes get soft enough and then I'm gonna add the spices. So stay tuned. Half of a lime lemon, I'm sorry. I'm gonna squeeze this lemon into the um, spoon because it has seed and we don't want the seed 
to get into the hurry because you, you see once you just escape them you don't want no seed to get into this mm -hmm. so I'm gonna continue doing this until I finish squeezing all the lemon juice I'm gonna add the complete seasoning. Season salt and a pinch of sugar. And I'm gonna taste it. Sugar, just a pinch. I'm gonna add the fish. All right. And then I'm gonna add the tomato, scallion, onion. Okay. So this is done. I'm just gonna let it soak in a little. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and give this video a thumbs up. For all those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Please share and like. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Right, so this is must mention it again. This is fine bang Mary curry fish with some white rice, tomato and cucumber slice. Okay.